Dear colleagues, this is a very hard cataract. Let us see the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed at around 10.30 o'clock. One side foot has been made at around 8 o'clock. An air bubble has been injected. Now tripan blue dye is being injected for the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. The dye is washed out. Now viscoelastic substance 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. One more side port is made on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is done. A 26 gauge bent needle is used to incise the anterior capsule and raise a nice flap. Now I take a iterate of horseps, hold this flap, go anticlockwise and see what happens at around 4 o'clock. It is stuck. There is a fibrous band and the capsule is stuck there. So I tried to pull it centrally and then again wanted to go peripherally but didn't happen. So what has happened is I can see there is a radial tear here. I hold it here and do axis of this part. And now I inject some more viscoelastic substance. Take a vana scissor cut it here at 2 o'clock and now from here I go hold this tag go clockwise up to the fibrous band that's it now I have got an adequate sized rexis now hydro dissection is to be done in this case, I am going to do hydro dissection at two points. This is at 8 o'clock and this is at 2 o'clock. Now I gently tap the nucleus and I see that the nucleus is free and it is rotating. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. And now in this case, I want to expose the teeth of the FACO handpiece little more so that I get more ultrasonic energy. Now I am in FACO 1 mode where the power being used is 90 percent and I am just going inside the lens and coming out. So this is one way of softening the hard nucleus as if I am just making some stabs into the substance of the central hard core of the nucleus and then I am just softening the central hard core. This is one way of you can say it is doing the job of femtolaser to soften a hard nucleus. And now I go into the substance of the nucleus. Now in FACO tune mode with high vacuum. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now I have cracked the nucleus. Now along this crack I want to divide the nucleus into two halves. So I rotate it 180 degree and then along the first crack I separate the nucleus into two halves. Now each hemineucleus I am chopping into three parts. This is one the other bigger part is again divided into two fragments. 
So on heminucleus has been divided into three fragments. This is the other heminucleus. It is also being chopped into three fragments. This is the other bigger part. Holding it here, going to the substance of the nucleus and chopping it. Now each fragment is attacked from the apex. I tilt in the nucleus, hold it at the apex and emulsify it and remove it. See the brown tinge of the nucleus. It's really hard nucleus. FECO power being used is 90% in continuous mode. Yes, in continuous mode, not pulse mode. And I am using energy, applying energy only when something is to be emulsified. The rest of the time I am in FECO 2 mode in position 2. As soon as I want to emulsify a fragment, I go to position 3 and again I come back to position 2. This is the last fragment and I remove the chopper during emulsification of the last fragment. Here it is. I have removed the chopper. The antechamber becomes more stable. The posterior capsule goes far behind towards vitreous and I have managed this hard nucleus. Now viscoelastic substance is injected. A 23 gauge Simcoe cannula is used to remove the cortex. Little cortex is remaining because most of the cortical matter was incorporated into the nucleus. going through the right side port to remove the cortex from the south incisional area. That's it. Now there was a little flap of corneal endothelium at the left side port. So I am using the right side port to keep the antechamber formed and under irrigation and implanting this intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. Now I hydrate the side ports and do this final lavage. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.